Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's having trouble saying that this will not weld, and it will not weld. And that's kind of the clue there. If we go up here and grab this one, it is a group of 12 objects. So you can do a couple of things here. We're going to do it two different ways. Go to Object, Group, and Ungroup. While you still got it selected, go to Object and Combine. Take this one. It's a group of 11 objects. Group, Object, Group, Ungroup, Combine. That combines them all together. Now, you really need to take, the, whoop, take that one and turn it into a hairline. And it's a hairline. The black is a hairline, so it'll work. And then select it all, and now it will weld the way you want it. And then you can fill it in with a Smart Fill tool, and you can see what you get. The other way to do that, let's just back up here before we did anything. Whoop. You could always use a Smart Fill tool. And this thing is uh, just about a little over seven and a half inches. We're going to change our nudge factor to 10. We're going to move this out of the way and move this out of the way. Grab the Smart Fill tool and fill that in, fill that in. Move the Smart Fill out of the way. What the Smart Fill tool did was made it combine, basically. So we're going to left click, right click. And then when you take this, you left click right click and then move these two back and now it should weld and the one i'm doing it for just be a little careful on your font um, this is going to be really fragile so you might want to really look at it it shouldn't matter because it's inside this other part um, you got a little dip right there i don't know if that's planned but that's easily taken out to do that just grab those nodes and hit delete, you know, on that straight part. Other than that, it looks pretty good. And then you don't have to, but I always fill it in with the Smart Fill tool after you weld it. And then you left click, right click, and then that one will cut out. This one would cut out too. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.